here. On a scale of one to 10, how hot is it right now? 15.3. <laughs> actually moving, the wind feels a lot better. And it's like, you actually start to cool off. Actually like standing around, it's so humid, you just sweat. Yeah, this is just straight spider city. <laughs> Like we go at a slow pace normally, and now we're going like twice as slow. <laughs> it's 1.20 in the afternoon, which means that right now we are exactly 24 hours from total eclipse of the heart. So weird, dude. This is 24 hours remain. We can play that sound right now. Yeah, if we can get lucky like this with the sun, tomorrow's gonna be good. Andrew was sitting over here, and then suddenly he said, guys, there's deer ticks all over me. And we all looked, and there was deer ticks all over us. Yeah, what we it, thought was just flecks of dirt, yeah. because we've, we're so sweaty and everything. But these, no. These guys are small. I mean, they're smaller than the hand of, like the pin of a needle. Yeah, very small. Yeah. So those, those are the ones you want to watch out for. In a vote, three to four. Three to one. Three to one. Three to one. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean like... Three out of four. <laughs> It's, it's incredibly uncomfortable, and if it weren't for the ticks, I actually think we could easily keep going. Yeah, it, the ticks, I, I don't yeah. want to play with disease. Like, spiders, we move them out of the way, you know? A little uncomfortableness, you just get over it. But yeah, yeah once ticks are involved, and especially this many deer ticks... There's a difference between finding a tick on you and finding eight ticks on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've sprayed so much deep yeah. that, like, my skin is burning right now. <laughs> Good news is, we got John Truitt. He is in the heart of Eclipse territory. We're gonna head out, we're gonna go there. Okay. So you, you guys are definitely... Yes. Let's move yes, out. Let's go right now. It's not worth our health. Like yeah. Lyme disease, yeah, no. like that ruins your life. Okay. So we just made contact with John. He says there's gonna be a lot of people at his house, but there's floor space, so we're good to go for the eclipse. You know, honestly, man, it's hot out here. <laughs> Sleeping on the floor with air conditioner. Sounds pretty nice right now. I think he's drying his wings. Yeah. I think we can all agree this has entered level three fun. There's no doubt about that now. The discomfort is one thing, but the disease is a totally different thing. Although the discomfort is substantial. And you know, I say an eclipse only comes around once every long time. Yeah. So I'd much rather be in an enjoyable situation. Yeah. Enjoying the eclipse than thinking I have Lyme disease. Plus afterwards we won't have to rush back to the car. That's true, yeah. Try and drive five hours up back to your house just to make it in time for my airplane and all that stuff. You know, it's better this way, honestly. <laughs> I'm sure the people watching are thinking the same thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it's better this way. This clearing was the start of the trail, so we were just about there. Not a moment too soon. There's a rule of thumb you can follow for these episodes. If Andrew is sweating, that doesn't mean anything. If Brian is sweating, that means it's getting hot. If I'm sweating, that means it's unbearably hot. Conversely, if I'm cold, doesn't mean anything. If Brian's cold, it means it's starting to get cold. And if Andrew's cold, it's time to go home. <laughs> I've never met this Greedo you talk of before. <laughs> but it sounds like thunder, doesn't it? I think I... I hear him telling us to go. <laughs> We're alive! That's something out of another, another book. That was rough. Quick vlogging, we're at John Truitt's house. He's one of our biggest Patreon supporters. I don't think I've ever explained that before, but I've been here before you guys recognize us. Okay, but we've also got the Medlocks. They're another Patreon supporter, and they're right here. This is Vince, yeah, we'll the... and that's Marianne right there. And they've got to run home to get to Game of Thrones before it starts airing. We've got about an hour, so you got to hurry. <laughs> There's John in the flesh. That's what we're having tomorrow. Yeah, this and all of that. Oh, baby. And actually, there's another one of these in the other fridge. We're gonna be, we're gonna smoke three of these briskets. Oh my goodness! You know how to throw a party. 
Well, the uh, food anyway. I'm gonna sleep outside. I'm also gonna try and get the Wi Fi password. <laughs> So the reason we're wearing name tags is because there were so many people here that we started making name tags so everybody would be able to address each other. So whenever we would go to Brian and Andrew's house, my dad, he would always sleep in a kind of similar position to this where it was like behind a couch and a wall. So it was like enclosed like this. <laughs> and Brian and Andrew can both attest that he would do that every time. <laughs> so this is where I'm sleeping right here. Brian's right here. <laughs> These are pine trees? They look like it. Yeah. So this whole trip we've been singing a song. It goes a little something like this. Gonna paint a wagon. Gonna paint it good. We ain't bragging. Oh wait, that's the wrong, oh, wrong phrase. Steps. What is it? Uh, that's right, that's the first uh, phrase. Yeah, but what's the pine phrase? Gonna, Gonna use oil-based oil paint. Cause that wood is pine. <laughs>